Lee asks, if you've enabled security defaults on 365 and all accounts have set up two-factor authentication, is there a way to disable 2FA or MFA on one account? I've checked the older style multi-factor under active users in 365 admin, and this particular user account uh, as it is disabled, but yet it still asks for MFA to be configured. The issue is that an app is having issues sending mail due to the MFA configuration. So the first thing is, is that uh, he talks about sec uh, default uh, security for 365. That's a moving target, right? So I'm not sure what it was when this particular question or when he had the problem, um, but it may have done, you know, gone a 180 since then um, because they keep on changing stuff. And what they've done is they've actually come across and said, hey, you have to have your users enable MFA, but it's only a it's a only a suggestion. It's not a requirement. All right. Yeah. So you can enable F MFA across your entire org. You can enable it for a subset of users, a group. Uh, you know, you don't have to enable it for everyone. And it depends on how granular you get with it. Um, they've loose, they've, they've, they've taken the, the old portal, the way it was, is that it was really kind of convoluted how you set up MFA. Now they've actually got it separated into the security portal and it's much easier. So yes, you can have a single account, especially one that runs like a service account. If you want to call it that, like a service principal, um, definitely, you know, there are ways around the MFA, but if your app can't run, then definitely take the MFA off. Absolutely, because you got to have your app run, right? So go in and from what I recall, I'm not looking at it, but what I recall, it's basically going through the users and then going to the, in the security console and then just unchecking MFA requirement. Um, that's all That's all it really is. So I'm not sure what they are looking at. If they were looking at the old way of doing it, um, since this question is a little bit older, um, or the new way of doing it. So. It's it's not that it's not that difficult. And yes, it can be done. Um, you can also do it. You can also do it via PowerShell. Yeah. So you can do MFA, add removes, um, change policies, do all that kind of stuff via PowerShell as well. So, yeah, I actually had this experience where we've talked about it in past segments where uh, there was a security breach because of the one account where it was turned off. Yeah, yeah, for for a reason. Um, but that cause problems. One other comment too. I mean, I, I, I think part of it is as an admin, you're going to get alerts or there will be a report there of accounts that don't have MFA turned on. So you'll see that. But to your point, it's still an option to do yes. that. Um, but the other side of that is, uh, you know, having two-factor authentication is becoming pretty much a standard. And for an app to not, or to have problems to struggle with that, it could be an outdated app or yeah, solution. There might be another third-party solution, something, another option that gives you that functionality that can support multi-factor. Yeah, hey, this goes back to, if you talk about that, this goes back to like, remember the old days where we had applications that would only take user IDs that were eight characters long yeah. and you couldn't have anything over nine characters. And then all of a sudden Microsoft comes out with something saying, hey, your user IDs have to be user at whatever dot, com or dot local and that just messed up everything with those apps you know so users had to remember two ids well it's kind of the same thing right because when you take a look at this it's it's whether or not your app your app can adapt to you know the progression yeah app can adapt yeah christian i see it app, like that. react adapt react, react adapt yeah it's kind of <laughs> like we do a schoolhouse rocks with that that's right the app react yeah no, no. Um, but when you think about it, it's like, you know, maybe the app's just too old. Maybe, maybe, you know, there, there, there are ways around it from a programming perspective. Um, you know, having the MFA pop up and creating a token, um, creating a, the, um, what do they call that? The, um, the user app, uh, user application. I can't remember. Um, but you basically get a token. You create a user application. Uh, so. There are a couple of different ways to do it. Well, I think for the basic questions, though, yeah, turn it off. Yeah, yeah. I personally hate it because I have 16 different accounts and I'm logging in and logging out all day long. 
I uh, wish evil people would just leave my stuff alone and stop doing <laughs> Like, don't look here. Nothing to see here. Um, but, yeah, it's all turned on. And I have to, God forbid you lose your phone or don't have your phone. Right? Ridiculous. Yeah. Um, I put a link in the, in the uh, worksheet for the setup for MFA, what it currently is as of today. But, of course, to Mike's point, that could be different tomorrow because it is Tuesday tomorrow. Happy <laughs> Tuesday.